Critical hits in D&D are both feared and loved by players and DMs alike. They have the power to make or break any moment in the game. However, what if there was a way to ensure that critical hits are always beneficial to you, even when your DM rolls one? For your race, choose Kalistar to get a plus 2 to Wisdom and plus 1 to Charisma, advantage on Wisdom saving throws, and resistance to psychic damage. You can communicate with creatures within 10 feet of your level who understand a language. Spend an action to grant an hour of telepathic speech to a creature. Only one creature at a time can have this ability, and they must be able to see you. Granting it to a new creature removes it from the other creatures. You are also immune to magical spells and effects that require you to dream, but not to sleep. For stats, we'll be using point by. Roll for stats if you want, but keep multi-classing minimums in mind. Our stats are going to be 8 Strength, 12 Dexterity, 14 Constitution, 8 Intelligence, 16 Wisdom, and 16 Charisma. For your background, choose Far Traveler, giving you proficiency in Insight, Perception, a musical or gaming set of your choice, a language of your choice, and as a foreigner, you can use the interest of being a foreigner to gain access to people and places that would otherwise be unavailable to you and your companions. Starting at level 1, your class is Cleric, letting you gain proficiency in Wisdom and Charisma saving throws, and your skills, spells, and subclass. For your skills, choose History and Religion, and for your spells, choose Thaumaturgy, Guidance, Mending, Bless, and Healing Word. Pick the Order Domain subclass. You get the spells Command and Heroism, Proficiency in Heavy Armor, Persuasion, and Voice of Authority. Voice of Authority lets you grant an ally the ability to attack as a reaction if you cast a first level or higher spell that targets them. If the spells were to affect more than one creature, choose the creature you'd like to give the attack to. At level 2, switch over to Warlock to get proficiency in the skills Deception and Investigation, the spells Mind Sliver, Mage Hand, Cause Fear, and Charm Person. You also get your subclass. For your subclass, choose Celestial Warlock to get the spells Light and Sacred Flame, and the ability Healing Light. Healing Light gives you a pool of d6s equal to your Warlock level, plus 1. You can use these dice to heal anyone within 60 feet of you. The maximum number of dice you can spend at once equals your Charisma modifier. Your pool is replenished after a long rest. Second level Warlocks give you another spell and your Eldritch Invocations. For your spell, choose Comprehend Language. And for your Eldritch Invocations, choose Devil's Sight and Misty Vision. Devil Sight gives you 120 feet of dark vision, and Misty Vision lets you cast Silent Image at will. At level 4, switch back over and take your last level in Cleric. Second level Clerics also get another spell, Choose Bless. You also get the Channel Divinity, Order's Demand. Order's Demand lets you choose creatures within 30 feet of you. They must make a Wisdom saving throw or become charmed by you until your next turn. Charmed creatures drop what they're holding if they fail the save. Turn Undead lets you condemn undead within 30 feet who can see or hear you. They must make a wisdom saving throw. Failed saves result in being turned for one minute or until they're harmed. Turn Undead move away unable to react and may dash or try to escape if immobile. If unable to move, they can dodge. Now this build has one problem. While you are able to switch critical hits back on your opponent, there is no actual guarantee you'll land a critical hit. Luckily, the video you see on the left showcases a build that'll fix this problem, providing a guaranteed chance to crit. That's all for this build, thanks for watching my video, and if this build helped you in any way, please help me out by subscribing, and have a wonderful day.